Welcome to our compensatory sweat treatment in Lius Med YouTube channel, where we provide expert knowledge and the latest advancements in treating compensatory sweating, one of the most common and frustrating side effects of endoscopic thoracic sympathectomy, ETS. If you've undergone ETS for hyperhidrosis, excessive sweating, or are considering the procedure, this channel is dedicated to helping you understand compensatory sweating and how to manage it effectively. What is compensatory sweating? Compensatory sweating, also known as compensatory hydrosis or reflex sweating, refers to excessive sweating in areas of the body that did not sweat heavily before ETS surgery. Commonly affected areas include the back, abdomen, thighs, and lower legs. While ETS can be a life-changing solution for conditions like palmar hyperhidrosis, excessive hand sweating, it often shifts the body's sweating response to other areas. This shift is what we call compensatory sweating, and it affects nearly all patients to varying degrees after surgery. For many patients, the compensatory sweating is mild to moderate and still preferable to the disruptive hand sweating they experienced before ETS. However, for others, it can be more severe, leading to significant discomfort and embarrassment, particularly during warm, humid weather when clothing can become soaked. This can severely impact one's quality of life, even though the original issue of hand sweating may have been resolved. Why does compensatory sweating occur? ETS involves cutting or clamping the sympathetic nerves that cause excessive sweating in certain areas, most often the hands. While this can effectively reduce sweating in the treated areas, the body still needs to regulate temperature and moisture. As a result, the sweat production shifts to other parts of the body. This shift happens because the body compensates for the blocked nerve signals by increasing sweat production in different regions. This side effect is widely understood by medical professionals. But it is important to note that compensatory sweating can vary from patient to patient in terms of severity and the areas affected. It is also influenced by external factors like climate, activity level, and individual body chemistry. How severe is compensatory sweating? Compensatory sweating can range from mild to severe. Mild. Some patients experience light sweating that is only slightly more noticeable than before surgery. These cases are generally manageable and do not interfere significantly with daily life. Moderate. In moderate cases, the increased sweating is more prominent, but often remains preferable to the original condition, such as sweaty palms. Patients may notice dampness on their back or abdomen, but this level of sweating is usually tolerable. Severe. Severe compensatory sweating is the most problematic and can significantly affect a patient's quality of life. This form of sweating can soak through clothing, especially on hot, humid days. When compensatory sweating becomes this severe, it is described as troublesome, and patients often seek further medical advice or treatment options. What can be done about compensatory sweating? Compensatory sweating is one of the most common and challenging side effects of ETS. Fortunately, there are ongoing efforts in the medical field to find safe and effective ways to reduce the severity of this condition. Traditional treatments, such as antiperspirants and medications, may provide relief for some patients, but newer, more advanced therapies are also being developed. One of the most promising treatments currently available is non-invasive partial ablation of sweat glands by heat thermolysis. This method aims to reduce excessive sweating in targeted areas by using controlled heat to ablate or destroy a portion of the sweat glands. Unlike ETS, which disrupts the nerve pathways, thermolysis directly targets the sweat glands themselves, reducing their activity without causing additional compensatory sweating in new areas. How does heat thermolysis work? Heat thermolysis involves the application of controlled heat energy to specific areas where excessive sweating is problematic. The heat works by partially destroying the overactive sweat glands, significantly reducing the amount of sweat produced in that region. This procedure is non-invasive. It does not require surgery, which makes it a safer and more comfortable option for patients. Targeted. Unlike systemic treatments like medications, Thermolysis focuses on specific sweat glands, offering a localized solution to excessive sweating. Effective. Studies have shown that heat thermolysis can significantly reduce sweating in treated areas, offering relief to patients with severe compensatory sweating. Benefits of heat thermolysis for compensatory sweating. 
The partial ablation of sweat glands via heat thermolysis offers several benefits over traditional treatment options. Minimal invasiveness. As a non-surgical procedure, it carries fewer risks than ETS and other invasive treatments. Patients can return to their regular activities shortly after treatment. Targeted treatment. By focusing only on overactive sweat glands, this method reduces the likelihood of creating new compensatory sweating sites, a common concern with other treatment approaches. Long-lasting results. The effects of thermolysis can last for an extended period, offering patients long-term relief from severe compensatory sweating. Improved quality of life. For individuals struggling with severe sweating, this procedure can dramatically improve daily comfort, confidence, and overall well-being. What to expect from the procedure heat thermolysis is performed in a clinical setting by a trained medical professional. The procedure is quick and relatively painless, with most patients experiencing only mild discomfort during treatment. After the procedure, some redness or swelling in the treated area is normal, but these side effects usually resolve within a few days. The results are noticeable within weeks, with patients reporting a significant reduction in sweat production in the targeted areas. Most patients only require one or two treatments to achieve their desired results, making this an efficient and effective solution for compensatory sweating. Subscribe for more information and updates. Our YouTube channel is dedicated to bringing you the latest news, research, and treatment options for compensatory sweating. If you or someone you know is affected by this condition, be sure to subscribe and stay updated on the most advanced and effective treatments available. Together, we can manage compensatory sweating and improve the lives of those dealing with this challenging condition. Thank you for joining us on this journey to better health and wellness.